Good morning. I am near Buell Water. It's absolutely beautiful here. And more specifically, I'm in what appears to be the upper deck of a child's playground ship thing. Nice. This place is lovely. I'm out with Ems walking Bonnie. There's a little cockapoo, our current charge on our house-sitting mission around the country. It's been such a cool couple of months. Finally, Say Yes More is in an amazing, amazing place and I'm not doing daily admin on that anymore. And it's freed me up to do so many things that I've wanted to do for a long time. I've also been working on a really silly project which I've wanted to do for a while. It's actually a, a business. I always have these just silly ideas, but when it makes me smile and chuckle out loud more than three times in a row, I know it's something that I need to do. So I usually have these shirts which have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, one for every day of the week. It saves me making a decision about what to wear. I've been thinking recently about how your name is the only brand that's gonna last for life. And my name, Dave, obviously kind of fits in with this t-shirt thing. How, you ask? Well, just imagine. <laughs> I find it really funny. Day and Dave sound kind of similar. So I got myself a t-shirt that said Fry Dave. <laughs> and then I thought, everybody knows a Dave. What a cool present it would be to get your Dave friend, a t-shirt with Birth Dave or New Year's Dave or Pancake Dave. Shrove Tuesday. Dave. <laughs> Valentine's Dave. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> so it's happening. Um, Dave's of the week or Happy Dave's. I haven't quite decided on the title, but uh, no longer will you have to think for more than three seconds about what to get your friend Dave for their upcoming birthday, special day, any day, Saturday. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's online now. Just have a look in the description or I'll put it somewhere around here. Starting up a new podcast, self-propelled, interviews with entrepreneurs and self-starters and uh, adventurers and anyone really who's just made the most of their time and their talent with a bit of hard work and something to share. I'm really excited about that. Watch this space coming in the next few weeks. We're still trying to sell our houseboat and we can't make our next move until we do, which is, it's been gutting and frustrating for the best part of a year now. But in the meantime, until that goes, we are starting to look for our next dream move, which is to buy some land and turn it into a really cool outdoors project. Basically add to what we've been doing with Say Yes More with the Yes Bus. We've had two acres of land that we've been renting, but actually now we're looking for a larger plot where we can have a sustainable business, get people outside, camping, glamping, but also all kinds of outdoors activities. Uh, it also means that we'll cut down on the ridiculous amount of travel that we've been doing in between all of our Say Yes More spots. So really excited about that. The search continues. Ems and I have been house sitting all over the place over the last few months and that's helped us save a little bit of money which has been much needed and having a dog or two around is always good for the mental health. We, we've been staying for the last three weeks with a dog called Bonnie who is just so so funny. She's got so much character. She was a right princess when her owners Sue and Rob left but she's grown on us more every single day. It's, it's going to be really hard saying goodbye to her next week. Do you think she's normal Ems? No I do not. I think she's crazy. <laughs> I've been video editing an awful lot which has been just lovely working with a few different brands looking at cool products that are going to be very useful going on adventures in the next few months Power Traveller have just brought out a new range of solar panels and chargers and I absolutely dig their stuff at the best of times so I've got a bunch of the, the latest gear and I've been reviewing that watch this space again but hands down my favourite bit of gear this year is the DJI Osmo Pocket. Now DJI are most famous for making drones with gimbals on the bottom. I think they account for something like 80-85% of consumer drones around the world. Now I've owned many of those drones. I've also crashed many of those drones. <laughs> So you know that feeling when you're flying a quadcopter and then you see the drone clip the top of the trees. But the Osmo Pocket, I'm holding it right now. In fact, let me go and find a mirror. I'll uh, show you exactly how cool this thing is. 
It's tiny. But the gimbal smooths out your shots. You can do hyperlapse and motion lapses and all kinds of stuff. The funny thing is, Em got me this as a Valentine's Day present. I got her a jigsaw puzzle. She won. And finally, I've been working with Ben Arthur, a good friend for many years, who was at my 40 mile birthday in October. And we've almost, I think, I hope, finished the film about that, which is gonna be really cool. I'm looking forward to sharing that one too. It's been a really fruitful last few weeks. It's so nice to get creative doing new things every day. I highly recommend it. Signing out from Buell Water in East Sussex. Very pretty.